be about Bailey University and uh, a hazing incident that occurred in February of 2019. So I found this article on Friday, and uh, it's uh, it's very vague, not much detail, not any detail really. So it wasn't found out by the university until uh, May 2019, and uh, when asked on the matter, Baylor, the university didn't give much to offer. All they said was uh, drugs and alcohol were not a factor. So, and um, Baylor has been in bad light uh, these past few years. You know, a number of sexual assaults um, and uh, other related matters of the, have uh, arose in the university that weren't truly investigated and that forced the resignation of their football coach, their AD, and the then president who was demoted and then decided to resign. So with that, you know, it's it only shows guilt. So um, you can't really believe the university if, um, you can't really believe the findings of the university, unfortunately, because, you know, you, all of these things had just occurred where they weren't uh, truly investigated. So when they go through and do another investigation, it just, it looks bad for them, really. Especially with this baseball incident, not giving much uh, detail and not uh, explaining their uh, findings and their reasonings. Because they only received a two-game ban to 14 players, which uh, ended up um, having uh, um, bringing up issues with their... Uh, uh, scheduled because they're hosting Nebraska on the 14th um, but again you know it's their investigation so we don't know what the the hazing incident was so um, for just from a neutral standpoint you can't truly determine where you would stand with the punishment being brought down because we, again we don't know so it only brings more bad publicity to the university I feel like if they would explain themselves and give out what happened and why they decided that, it would look better for them because a lot of these hazing incidents with uh, universities end up being some more serious than not. So, we're I mean, you can only hope that it wasn't something that didn't warrant more. But, again, without the detail, we just don't know. So, it's pretty unfortunate. Um, I, mean, I would like to know more because... Uh, I don't know. The hazing, I get that. It's a part of the team culture and whatnot. But you want to make everybody comfortable. And uh, putting people in these situations isn't going to force cohesion through a team. So I just want to understand the psychology of it and why they do that. So I would like to know more of this when it, if it ever does come out.